Hey guys, we are back and today we are making apple jelly and we're making it from apple scraps. So you've got the cores and the peels and all of that. Um, back a couple months ago, we had a lot of apples on our tree. We got them all down and or we picked them all and we made apple pie filling out of the apples and then we kept our cores and we kept our peels and decided that we are going to be making some jelly out of them. I've never done that before. We've made jelly out of dandelions and we've made jelly out of violets. We've made jelly out of corn cobs and what else have we made jelly out of? Grapes and stuff. So oh yeah we did make grapes. We made grape jelly one time. That was great. Um, And we I don't know what else we've made jelly out of, but we made jelly out of that stuff, and today we're going to make it out of apple peels and cores. Now, these have been in my freezer for a few months, so it's all stuck together. One big hard clump, and I'm going to sit here and chisel it away until it's all down in the pan. But anyway, we'll come back whenever that's done and keep you updated on what we're doing. Alright, so we have got the apple cores and peels, some of them anyway, into the pan it doesn't look very appetizing but anyway it's in the pan big old pan and we got this big old pan over here so two pans two pots going of the apples this is the recipe we're using i would love to tell you where i found it but i don't know i typed in apple scrap jelly and this came up so that's what we're going with <sighs> so we are waiting for the cores to get mushy and the water level to reduce by half and then we will be back to Go from there. So apparently, whenever the uh, apples start boiling, they uh, boil out of the pan. So, they're just coming up and all excited, so we've transferred some of them over to this pan. And uh, I guess note to self, future reference, don't fill the pan to the top with the apples because uh, that will make a mess. Alright guys, so we are, well I really can't see that, but anyway, we are just about pretty much halfway down on this one. It had a little less in it, it's a smaller pot. But uh, the apples are mushy, the cores are smushy, and it's, it's pretty much ready to move on to the next step before it starts sticking to my pan here. This other one, not quite down to half yet. But to be fair, whenever it was boiling over, I turned it off and then forgot to turn it back on. So there's that. Anyway, it's going to continue to do its thing. And once it gets down to half, we'll do the other. But we're going to go ahead and get the other one, the other pan, started. So we'll be back. All right, so we've got them in a strainer over my pan. And we're just smushing out the juice. And then we're going to take the juice that's in the other pan. In there. And pour it onto it. It smells amazing, you guys. If you haven't made jelly before, you really should give it a shot. Your house smells amazing, and it's really good. Plus, it's not real hard, so it's a good time. Everyone should try it at least once. So they told us to measure it out. Look how it's kind of pretty, right? I'm excited to see what it's going to look like whenever it is fully finished. But right now, it looks like the color of apple butter. Anyway, told us to measure it out, and this is just under six cups of liquid and I think what I'm gonna do just to save myself some time and trouble and all of that is I'm gonna let this just chill here until that pan over there gets done and then when it's ready I'm gonna combine all the juice and make it all in one pan so I don't have two pans going because I just don't want to do that so anyway we'll be back all right so the other pan finally got finished and now we've got all juice we ended up with the 20 and a half cups of juice so we've got our sugar in here, we've got our lemon in here, and then we're going to bring it up to a boil and whatever the next step says, we're going to do that. And then we're going to add a little vanilla to it because I think that'll make it really good and give it that little bit of, I don't know, extra flavor. So anyway, we're going to bring this to a boil, let it do its thing, and we'll be back. Well, I had intended to show you guys the whole putting it in the jars and all of that, but I didn't do it. But look at it. It's so dark looking. I like it. Anyway, putting the last one in here, we're going to water bath them. Yes, I know those lids say salsa and apples and all kinds of things, but they're fine. Um, I'll just write on them with the door later. Anyway, this whole batch made four pint jars. Um, 
of jelly. And now it says that we're supposed to water bath them for five minutes. So we're going to do that. Get my water boiling here. And then we'll have finished jelly that we get to try tonight. All right, guys. So we have jelly. Now you can see it's kind of runny. This is room temperature. Pretty liquidy. It's delicious though. We opened this one the other day. And when it's cold and out of the fridge, it gels up. Much nicer. It looks like. I didn't know it was going to do that, but hey, I'm not complaining. Anyway, we have apple jelly. Now, they say you can strain it more than I did. Like, you can run it through it. I ran, I ran the, pilling, the pillings and the cores and all that through a strainer to get the juice out then i ran the juice through a cheesecloth um but they say that you can use a coffee filter and it'll make this more clear oh my god it's so good but anyway um it'll, i'm not gonna put that back in there i will make it more clear and that's um fine but i like this color i think it's pretty it looks like apple butter now i have this this is fun. That was apple juice that we attempted to make. And the, the, the recipe says you just cook down the peels and the cores. Okay. So we did that. We ended up with all of this juice. It tastes like watered down apple juice. So we're not a fan. So I'm going to take it. I'm going to cook it down further. And I'm going to turn it into jelly too, I guess. And yeah. That's what we'll do because I don't know what else to do with it. I don't need apple cider vinegar right now because we have a bunch. Um, and I still have more apple peels and cores in the freezer if I need to make apple cider vinegar at some point. We give we give ACV to all of our animals. We put it in their water. It keeps their respiratory systems and digestive systems healthier. Um, so it's coming on winter now. And so that's when we that's when we try to keep the ACV in their water to keep them good and healthy throughout the throughout the winter months anyway um that's your update and i hope you have enjoyed this video if so subscribe hit that thumbs up let us know you like it tell your friends all that good stuff and i'm gonna go make this juice into jelly <laughs> you guys have an awesome day